Hello, this video is how to play Rummy Cube for the beginner. Keep watching. At the end of this video, you're going to be really good at Rummy Cube. Now, I'm using the app, but it's the exact same as the tile game. Okay, let's start with the simple basic rules and the setup. The object of the game is to lay down all your tiles on the table in the form of runs and groups. The first person to clear all their tiles from their rack wins that round. What's a run and what's a group? A group, also called a set, is three or four tiles of the same number but in different colors. For example, a black seven, a blue seven, an orange seven, and a red seven. And what's a run? Well, a run is three or more consecutive numbers all in the same color. For example, a blue two, a blue three, a blue four, and a blue five. Well, the tiles are numbered one through 13 in each of the four colors, and there's also two jokers. Now, I'm gonna take you through this walkthrough, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm gonna win this game. It's gonna look like I've lost, but I'm going to win it. To start the game, each player takes 14 tiles and puts them on their rack. The rest of the tiles are spread either face down on the table or in a pouch to draw from. As you can see on the bottom, that's my tiles. I'm the Wizard of Oz people on the lower left. I have an opponent on the upper left. And if you look on the right, you see a plus. That's just to draw. There's 77 imagined face down tiles scattered around the table that you're going to draw from. These are my pieces down here, and I can move them around. I can organize them however I want. I usually like to keep them from lowest to highest. I also see I have a wild card there. I'll explain explain jokers in a second. Step one, you need to lay down 30 points just to start. You can't lay anything down unless the total of the value of everything is 30 points. I do have a wild card. I suppose I could lay that down and just start the game right now. So I'll lay seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to hit the check mark, meaning my turn is done. My opponent, if they don't have 30 points, they're just going to have to keep drawing. So I'm just going to have to start drawing cards, too. Um, I have a 5, a 4. I don't have a... Th but I don't have much there to do. I'm just going to have to keep drawing. So there's a 3, 4, and a 5. I could lay that down. The goal of the game is to get be the first person to get rid of all of your points. But at this point, I'm just gathering, as my opponent is gathering, um, cards. Now he had 30 points to lay in to start, so he finally got to the point where he can lay it in. He laid down three threes, three sixes, and a nine, ten, eleven of yellow. Now this is where it gets interesting because you're able to start laying off cards down off of your opponent. So I could lay down, he has an 11 there, I could lay down that 12. Now just laying down cards is just the first step. There's obviously a lot more which I'm going to be getting into in a second. So it looks like he's able to lay down more. Okay, so he's already sh doing the first thing which I was going to show you, which is as long as you're allowed to end up with everything working, in other words, a minimum of three, you can start to move cards around. So he was able to take my wild card nine, replace it with the actual blue nine that he had, lay down some other cards in grade 10, 11, and 12. So now it's my turn. I actually can take that tw uh, wild card and put that 12 in there. And I could maybe go seven eight, uh, use that as the eight, and then nine, ten. Ask yourself, how can I take cards away to create something else? For example, what if I was to take this six here and put it there and put that five there? I would still have to do something with this six. I guess I could put that six there, put my five there, put my four there, but I'd have to do something with that six. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to use that six off of. So I got to put it back right now. There really isn't much I can do except draw. And I actually have the ability to go one, two, three, four, and five. Um, I have this 11, which I, if I put it there, I could split that, but I would still then need to put something there. So that doesn't work. Um, I don't have much I can do. I can't, if I can't lay that five down. So I've just got to draw some more cards. And I see he's laid down that six and I have to draw some more cards. One of the things about this game is you think you're so close to ending it and then you can't get rid of that last card and you end up having to draw more cards. So he's laid down that seven and it looks like I can't do much more than that. If you can even lay down one card, then you don't have to draw. I know in a couple of turns this board's going to open up and suddenly you're going to start to see everything get shuffled around almost on every single turn. All I can do is draw. Okay, so he was able to lay that one down. I can actually take the wild card and take that eight. I can also break this apart 
and I can maybe go here and make that a red six, and then I can lay that five down. Here's a seven, I can put that there. And as you can see, now my opponent's starting to move the cards around the board. So I suppose I could go two, and you even just don't need to do anything just so you don't have to pick up a tile. I suppose I could do that and move those twos. I'm sort of sitting on those 13s, which doesn't help. My opponent is moving all things around. Just to, just to Sometimes you're moving the entire board around just to get rid of one tile. But all you need to do is get rid of one tile, and that way you don't have to pick one. And the goal, of course, is to get rid of all your tiles. So he's really maneuvering things down. And now he's down to one tile left. Well, I could move this 10 here, and by doing so, I can get this 11, and I can get this... 12. I also can move this uh, 12 here since um, there's no blue 12 there. I also can move this one here, the black one, to, to go there. I suppose I have this black three. I could put that black three there. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these black 13s, which unfortunately are tough because 13 is the highest number on the board, but there really isn't much that I can do with it yet as there's no other black 13s really around here. I really could use, that's good. Well, I can use my two and I can put it there. Actually, maybe, I'll just, let me just try this. So I could go 10, make that an 11, put a black 12 there, put a black 13 on that, then I just have to do something with this seven. Well, I could put the seven here, break that into two parts. As long as there's a minimum of three, I'm good there. Two tiles. Let's see what he does. He laid down a little bit more. But I know I can use that five here. Put that five there to get rid of that four. Oh, well, that'll help because I can definitely put that in there in place of that. Move that to the five. Move that to the four. 10. Well, I can get rid of that 10 by putting it here and breaking that into two parts of three. I'll be able to use that on the next turn and put that there. I've got to get rid of that 13. That black 13 is really going to be hard to do. Okay, what are you doing? And you can see, if you can imagine playing this on sort of like a kitchen table, it starts to take off the entire table. We're laying all these cards around, moving things around. And he's doing a lot. I'm assuming he's got a plan for what he's doing because this is really a big rebalance here. Okay. And for, well, at least, okay. This is a lot of maneuvering around. Now I look at this red 13 up here and I could obviously take it and use my black 13, but you need three 13s. Uh, let's try something. Let's move, take that and I can use that. Now I need a, three thir a third 13. I suppose it can be the wild card, but now it leaves these two sixes here on the lower left where no place to go. So then the question is, is there a place that I can put them? Well, I could put this seven here. And so if I could just clean up this six, I can be done. Well, let's see, I could maybe move that six down here. That's two sixes. Um, the other thing is, I suppose I could take this six right here and put it down, and I've won. Now that was just one round. Most people play a lot of rounds, so they're scoring. So the way it works is this. All of the unused tiles from all the other people, they subtract that from their total, and I get those points. So if you see here, Art, that's me. I got 16 points and my opponent, he had 16 points. He had to subtract 16 points. I'm going to put a link to buy the board game on Amazon in the description below. And the final thing I'll say is this, watch my other video on advanced techniques on really how to win. Um, hope you learned a lot from this game. Thanks. Bye.